हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ओके इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू आई विल यूज वीडियो ऑफ नॉन इनवर्टिंग समिंग एम्पलीफायर इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड शो हाउ टू डिजाइन अ इनवर्टिंग समिंग एम्पलीफायर सो देयर इज अ वेरी लिटिल डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ नॉन इनवर्टिंग समिंग एंड इनवर्टिंग समिंग एम्पलीफायर्स द डिफरेंस इज दैट द इनपुट्स द मल्टीपल इनपुट्स इन द इनवर्टिंग समिंग एम्पलीफायर आर गिवन एट द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द पैन while the positive terminal is connected to ground directly or either with a stability resistor or dc offset resistor so i would amend this non inverting summing amplifier schematic into a inverting summing amplifier schematic so i would delete these two connections and connect these inputs to and connect these inputs to the inverting input while while the output would be connected to the ground right sorry this will be like this okay so now on the negative pin we have a feedback resistor and on the same negative pin we have the two inputs source inputs and our positive terminal is connected to the ground with the help of a dc offset nulling resistor so <coughs> similarly the output will be we are getting would be and the output would be phase inverted with respect to the inputs this is unlike the non inverting amplifier where the output is in phase with the summed inputs so the formula for the inverting summing amplifier would be something like this minus rf upon ri which is the gain of the inverting amplifier and sorry here ri would be something uh, different minus is rf r4 upon r2 in this case the input ri resistance is the r2 resistor here not this resistor this is the offset nulling resistor so the output would be equals to the sum of the voltages v1 source minus r2 upon minus rf upon r2 into v1 and minus r4 upon r1 v2 so because this r1 resistor is connected with v2 therefore we have this term here r1 r4 upon r1 into v2 and this r2 is connected with v1 therefore output would be r4 upon r2 into v1 minus r4 upon r2 is the gain of this input and minus r4 upon r1 is the gain of this this input v2 therefore the total output would be the sum of these two terms if there is another third sub source then we would have third term also like r3 upon r1 into v3 but we do not have here a third source so for the sake of simplicity i have only taken two sources therefore the formula for the inverting summing amplifier would be like this this negative sign shows the phase inversion okay so the output would be phase inverted and this negative sign shows this now 
let's see what happens if we supply these signals to the input and now let's first change this phase degree to 0 degree phase to 0 degree so both signals are in phase with each other and both signals are same in amplitude therefore they would both superimpose upon each other and add up and becomes an output inverted in phase this is the output and this is the input this is red line this red sine wave is input 2 while this blue sine wave is input 1 and this is the output we green one so we are getting 20 millivolt and we had input of 10 millivolt and input 2 was also 10 millivolt so uh, they are both adding up nicely with each other and output is 180 degree out of phase as you can see that output is negative minus 20 volt around minus 20 volt this is due to the DC offset which is due to the input offset current of the open not completely 20 minus 20 millivolt so you have seen that the phase inversion is occurring <coughs> now let's change the source uh, to something different value let's take let's change the amplitude of one of the source to 20 millivolt and one of them is 10 millivolt therefore the sum would be 30 millivolt now you can see that v in 2 is around 10 millivolt v in 1 is around 20 millivolt and their sum is at 30 millivolt peak that is amplitude ok guys <coughs> now if we give an offset we will now if we give the this uh, phase shift of to one of the signals like uh, say 90 degree as we gave in our previous video the phase shift of 90 degree now let's see what would be the output the output would decrease a bit okay, so you see output has dropped to 23 millivolt 23.7 millivolt however it was 30 millivolt when both signals were in phase with each other therefore they are now 90 degree out of phase and the signal sum has been dropped okay so this summing amplifier we see here is uh, getting the two input sine waves now what happens when we give them a DC value like uh, one volt like one volt DC for example and another source we also change it to DC value like 2 volt DC so these two input signals if they are converted to DC voltage so the circuit would be equally applicable to the DC input signal sources as well now we will simulate this circuit and see as you can see V input 1 is 1 volt 1 volt here and this V input 2 is 2 volt as you can see it is 2 volt and their sum is 3 volt 2.99 volt per this is not completely 3 because of DC offset as I already mentioned and this is minus 3 ok this shows the inverting summing amplifier so in conclusion this summing amplifier either it is non inverting summing or inverting summing they are both equally applicable to the DC analog voltages and to the signal source as well I hope you guys learned something about the summing amplifiers non inverting and inverting if you do like my content please hit like button and share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you